Hey there, my name's Lynx, and I'm a streamer here on YouTube. Something that I noticed that was kind of lacking in the streamer space for YouTube streamers was how to automate a lot of things using your stream deck. So today I decided to put out a little tutorial on how to change your Twitter profile picture to show that you're going live when you start streaming either on YouTube or on Twitch. It works for both. So let's get into it. The first things that you're going to need are a profile picture that you want to use when you're not live and a profile that, picture that you want to use when you switch to going live. Once you have those, we're going to go over to Imgur and upload your pictures here. Later on, we're going to copy these links for your live and not live profile picture. So keep this tab handy. Next, you want to open up if this, then that. You can search that in Google and it should come up as the first result. What you're going to want to do here is make an account and then click the create button in the top right. From here, we'll click add and search webhooks. Once you're on this page, we're going to click receive a web request and you can name this anything. Make sure not to use any spaces and I'll name it go live for this video. Then we'll click create trigger. Greater than that action, we want to search Twitter and then update profile picture. Here's where you'll paste that link from Imgur. So I'll go ahead and copy it, go back, paste it. And then if you want, you can have if this then that tweet out for you when you go live as well. I don't want that here, so I'm just gonna delete it and then click create action. I'll click continue and then finish. And step one is done. Now we need to do basically the same thing for when we go offline. So I'll click create, add another web hook, receive a web request, and I'll change this to go offline. Create trigger, add your Twitter back in, update profile picture, and then you'll copy the link to the next profile picture that you want to use. Same deal, you can have it tweet out for you. I don't want any of that. So I'm gonna delete it and click create action. Then continue and finish. All right, we're like halfway there. So the next step is gonna be to go into your stream deck. So what we're gonna do here is go to the stream deck store and search web requests. You'll wanna install this applet here made by Adrian Mullings. Once you have that installed, you'll want to find it on your sidebar and drag over your HTTP request button. I'll title this go live. You can see I've already tested it <laughs> up here, but, um, and then we'll copy another one for go offline. All right. Once you're at this step, you'll see there's a URL and a method. The rest of the stuff we don't really care about, but make sure you set the method to post. For your URL, we're gonna go back to if this then that, click the back button, search webhooks again, and then while we're on this webhooks page, click the documentation button. Here you'll see a key that is specific to you, and it's what lets you control your triggers. So don't give this out to anyone because then they'll be able to control your triggers and you don't want any of that. So for our URL on our stream deck, we're going to go ahead and copy this link. I'll copy the first part. You want to change the event here to the name that we tr uh, named our trigger. So I'll, ours was go live. I'll copy that. And then copy the last half of the link. And there we go. We have our go live set up and ready to go. So um, just to make this a little bit easier for all the copying and pasting, I'll copy this link here, go to my go offline and paste in the URL here, but make sure to change go live to go offline. And same thing, change the method to post. 
now you're pretty much done. If you click this button here, to go live, it should change your profile picture on Twitter. Let's see. If I click go live, refresh, it changes my profile picture to live. Great. And then I click go offline, refresh my page, and it changes it back. Beautiful. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and pull up just our Stream Deck software. And we're going to combine these two buttons into one and add a whole bunch of other things that'll be useful. So to do that, we're going to go up to our Stream Deck plugin here and click multi-action switch. You'll see that this multi-action switch has two parts. That's because when you press it the first time, it's going to do the actions that are here under one. And then when you press it the second time, it'll do everything that's under two. So I'm going to control C to copy this go live request right here. Paste that under my one. Copy the go offline. Go in and paste that under two. So now here's where all the fun stuff comes in. You can add things like a tweet, a name change, or even if you have the OBS plugin, you start streaming. So you could have a button that when you press it the first time, it starts your stream, changes your Twitter name, makes a tweet for you, and changes your, your Twitter profile picture all in one click. And then when you click it again, you can do the same thing, add your stream. You know, you can change this to stop, so it'll stop your stream. You can put out another tweet to say that you're done. And you can change your name back to what it was before. There's all kinds of other things you can do with stuff like this. And I highly recommend that you take some time to check out what plugins there are for the Stream Deck and just see what's out there. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Definitely feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any questions. There's lots of other ways to do this too. I know people can use Mix It Up Bot. Uh, one of my friends made a great video on how to use it with that, um, but that only works for Twitch. I'll link that down below if you're curious in how that works. So yeah, thanks so much for hanging out and I hope this works for you. See you in the next one.